The world-class field once again produced some top-quality golf in the final round of the PIF Saudi International here at the Royal Greens Golf and Country Club. Matthew Wolf finishing in 10th place. This a birdie at the 5th. He was excellent early on, but had to settle in the end for an even part 70. A good week for the Aussie, Travis Smythe. This at the 14th, I judged the Aramco shot of the day. A 65 for Smythe. 65-2 for Paul Casey. This at the 10th. Very nearly hold out for an Eagle 2. A top five finish for Paul Casey. Saddam Kogan, Jana finished top Asian. He played beautifully, particularly early on. He was out in 30 in the front nine with the help of this at the sixth. In the end, a 66 for Kogan Jana. 14 under par and fourth overall. Lucas Herbert was third last week in the Dubai Desert Classic, finished third again here in Saudi Arabia. This his second into the fifth. And another 65 for Herbert, five under par. Cameron Young was tied for the lead after seven holes. Hold out for birdie at the 16th to keep his, at that point, slim hopes alive of getting the trophy in his hands. In the end, he had to settle for second. It was Abraham Ansar's week. He got off to a great start. This at the fourth for his second birdie in the first four holes. A two-shot swing at the eighth was absolutely vital. Young bogeyed, Ansar hold this for birdie. And from that point on, Par golf was good enough for the Mexican. On the par 5, 18th and 3. Happily hold out for par. And a wire-to-wire -wire win. He has looked like the winner from early on in round one. And a little short putt to give Abraham Ansar the PIF Saudi International Trophy. How heavy is it? You good? I thought that was good.